You need to put a little red light on. You've got a little red light on? Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, today we're going to talk about two digits subtraction. And the two numbers that we're going to take away from each other are going to be 48 take away 19. And what we're looking to do is to take the two numbers away, but another way of saying that is to find the difference between the two numbers. So like you've done before, we're going to use a number line as the first method of doing this. So with a number line, we can start there. And so there's 19. And we've got to go all the way over to 48. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a jump of add 1 and go to 20. And then from that, we're going to go to... 40, which is add 20, and then we're going to take another jump again, just a little jump to 48, and that add 8. So the difference between 48 and 19 is 1 and 20 and 8, and if you add all those numbers together, you've got 28, 29. So the difference is 29. So that's the first method by using a number line. The second method is a more formal method, which is where, like before, when we did it in addition, we put the two numbers one above the other. So I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to rewrite it as 48 take away 19. Okay. Now, like before, we talk about units and tens. And I'm going to use my finger again, or actually my hand. I'm going to cover that up, and I'm going to say, I've got eight units, and I want to take nine away. I can't. So in order to do that, I'm going to borrow from the tens column. And I'm going to say, I'm going to transfer one of those tens, which now becomes three, over to this side, and there it is. So now I have one question, which is 18 take away nine, which is nine. And the other question which is 3 take away 1, which is 2. So the answer to 48 take away 19 is 29. Then the final formal method of doing it is slightly different, and I'm going to rewrite it again as 48 take away 19. And I'm going to start in much the same way with looking at the units. So there again I have 8 take away 9, I can't do, so I'm going to make it 18. So 18 take away 9 is 9. Now I've had to borrow that 10, but this time I'm going to put it back on the library shelf at the bottom. And if I now look at the question, it's 4 take away 2. 1 and 1 is 2. So 4 take away 2, which is 2. So again, that's a final method of doing it. So we've actually now got three different methods of taking away two numbers. This one, this one, and this one. And like before, what's really important is whichever method you choose out of those three, you practice and you practice and you become really good at it. That's it.